too. Never did. I feel some really? type of way with really? things though. For some reason, I think it's a game to a nigga bring them things out. Ain't been I got a problem, I'ma let the nigga know. No, I be no. on a mission, the right. nigga shit I already know. No. I ain't like none of them niggas, I'ma bring it to him though. Tryna get it in, my yeah. nigga, I'm coming Train out the to go. Go. I'm the real soldier, the gangster, the nigga let it Front go. Line. I be outside with them niggas and never fuck Let him know. Jump. I get you ready, nigga, you gon' have to let me know. I run up in your crib yeah. and let about that yeah. freak Three up. up. Talking about you do it, nigga, you know how I fucking be. Yeah, I be one of them niggas. Acting like they really never be talking about you street niggas. You gon' have to show me. Shit. Hit you with that shit. You ain't never seen this shit. Shit, no. <laughs> I'm from Jersey, nigga. The real one. You ain't no. really no. Talking about you nigga. With Hollow a crime. I know a bitch that'll come with a, with big, a big strap. Big, big, yeah. Suck on a nigga, give him neck. You know just all like, that. Just like that. Dog nigga, I been a nigga, you know me. They don't I know that. Sad with niggas and never, never go, go be They don't go outside. From the hood, Jersey, north side, double clip. Real gangster nigga, you I know how this shit goes. I stay on my Used shit. Used to go Z's up to get my whole fit. Seven dudes. Oh, real nigga, you know how this shit is. Let's go. My mama fell in love with the, the dick. dick. They supply with, with the, the dick. dick. So you so know I'm going to give her the dick. Sincere running shit. Money, hey, see, that I been about that money, though. Hey, see, I got that money. Hey, see, I got that money. I don't play no games. I'm from Jersey. Jersey running yeah, shit. Really no stacking up that money to our Jersey really no. running shit. Get him. Get him. Get him. She say I'm gangster by the way I do. She had enough. No talking, you know I'm going to keep it really true. Keep it really true. I hate on me for all this shit I really Fuck do. Fuck you, girl. Let's get into the money, buying houses. Let's keep, keep it true. Cool. Nigga, when you stop me, you're going to have to take me on my block. I wish he would. I ain't nothing like them nigga posted like a Middle Middle box. Box. I could bring that new route. I could bring the shotty too. Uh -huh. AK the big thing. You know how I'm a real nigga. A nigga gonna hate cause this bitch be really on my, my shit. Dick. She know I'm just God body. She know how this shit get done. I don't play the games they play. She know I'm in the whip. Foreign style. You know the shit that I they can never that. do. I that shit. I me, keep she that know how shit. Gonna be. Be she know how it's gonna be. I'm that nigga one hell of a G. She. Play the fourth like I'm that nigga. Be don't fuck with me when I walk. <laughs> bitch, you know I'm the hell of a G. G. I they gonna always hate on me. Why? Always hate on me. But the Why? bitch wait on me. She know I'm just one hell of a G. G. One hell of a G. One hell of a G. Why? What you tell Why? They wanna stop me. I'm never that. sad, but I'm really so cocky. Like I'm Rocky. like I'm Rocky. They can't. You already know. 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 What it do, what it do, this your boy Gangsta Cap, you already know what time it is, I got the lowdown for the low now, and this is where the fucking go down, like, share, subscribe to the page, cause you don't wanna miss all the latest shit man, all the good celebrity gossip from the bounce news, you know, number one spot for on air reactions is celebrity gossip. OMG man, do I got some news for y'all today man, now, Everybody know that Enchanting has came to her demise, man. R.I.P. to Enchanting, dope artist, was signed with 1017, man. You know, and everybody know the curse on them 1017 artists. We got artists in jail. We got artists dead. I don't know what it is with Gucci, man, artists, but that, that's them can't get right crew. Well, your girl Enchanting, man, she died yesterday man she was on life support and didn't make it man now a lot of people is saying in these streets that this shit ain't no coincidence a lot of people are saying in these streets that this shit ain't no coincidence they find it real weird how enchanting supposedly came to kick it with her ex-boyfriend johnny d and all of a sudden out of nowhere now she in the hospital. There's people saying that your boy may have sacrificed his ex-girlfriend to get to the next level, man. That's what the word in the street is. Now, I'm trying to figure out. I don't know if he still had a policy on her when he was managing her. I don't know how this shit worked and what he did. But if you see your boy Johnny D looking a little bit more cleaner, in a couple weeks than he did these last few weeks, 
then I think we can take the speculation off the motherfucking air. And we and we know he came up. Now, what I do find kind of strange is why every time somebody die, motherfuckers want to do an interview. I think that's like the craziest shit in the world. Niggas don't give no time for motherfucking grievance or nothing. This is the second manager that did an interview within 24 hours with a blogger after they motherfucking uh, artist passed. Because now's the time. Rainwater did it with Mo3. Johnny D did it with Chanting. But this is the thing that we, it's, it's funny with this shit. She, she, he, she ain't seen a nigga in three years. The, now she come back and visit with you. All of a sudden she visit with you and now she end up dead. People find, are going to find that kind of strange. Yeah, they don't find it kind of strange, especially they're going to correlate that to what generally happens in the industry with these life insurance policies, because unfortunately, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, humanity and people are just completely different when they're motivated by money. You get what I'm saying? Like some evil things really go down. So could he have came around? No one has seen you in a long time. <coughs> Dropped her a hot pack and she had a policy on her. It's real simple. Why? Because people who are on these drugs don't never ask no questions. It's real easy. If I'm, if for example, if I'm a smoker mm -hmm. and I pull up to a spot and people are smoking and mm -hmm. they pull out a blunt, I'm a smoker. You right? smoke I'm gonna hit the blunt. I didn't ask about no pre roll book, but I don't know what's in there. Mm -hmm. But I'm a smoker. So smokers ain't going to ask the questions where you get this from, where you get that, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to get down and do it. So it's real easy to get them like that. Anybody who's got some type of sex, any types of addiction that you could feed on is a way that you go to get people. Look at old boy from back in the day. I feel like he was sent a hot pack, came up with the AIDS package and lost his life. People do that to get at you and get real close. And sometimes it's to your demise. But being that he was gone for so long, it's a it's a fair enough speculation. And three, and, and this is what people fail to realize. They was in a relationship. Not only were they in a relationship, he was her manager. You know what I'm saying? So if if I if I'm your manager, because you ain't gotta go today. It's the last day, don't worry about it. So check this out. If I'm your manager, if I'm your manager and your manager got an insurance policy on you, Johnny D could have been paying that policy off every month for three years. For the last 36 why, why months. Why would you stop? Hmm? Why would you stop paying the insurance? Of course, my point exactly. That, but that's for anybody. I mean, you don't just stop. If your intention was to put the policy on somebody, if you stop paying for the policy, it's non-existent. Exactly. Right. And and the, and the whole key to these managers is the policy. That's what people fail to realize. Right. That's, <laughs> that's the number one payout. I get me an artist and put them on policy because once you, once you are my artist, you are an asset to my company. I can put you on a policy. Yeah, he can. So, I, so I can put him on a policy. She might not even realize, even after she went to 1017, that she was still under a policy. I think people forget that you could be under more than one insurance policies. You There could be five or 10 people out here with insurance policies on. Yeah, you can't stop that. They got your information. They put you on a policy, especially if you're working underneath them, even more so. So even though you moved and shifted, they were dating, so who knows what was said. You know, it gets convoluted because you have to remember somebody's going to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Somebody always asks questions. But we sit here asking them. Those people are the first ones to ask questions. And they're going to sit you down and, and, say, well, and sir, she, you've been gone for three years. And she ain't been in your presence. And now she come in your policy. presence. And that we know you got a policy on her because you was our manager. And now she in your presence for the first time in three years. What's the motive? I mean, it's, it's just like when you come home and find a husband and wife that this next. This, what's the motive here? What's going on? They got to get down to something. And and his words out of his mouth, his quote words out of his mouth is that she died over uh, withdrawal. So he's trying to make it seem like she didn't die off of being OD'd. She, she, she died withdrawn. that she was withdrawn. But my thing is, so she withdrawn when she got with you. Right. So you have to think of the sequence of events and how quickly you go through a withdrawal. You know that people who are drug addicts, and I'm saying this in the tension that she was desperately in at. Mm -hmm. This is a codependent thing where she's taking this multiple times per day. 
This is not a party drug. You know what I'm saying? It's sometimes, anytime. So if she's having to come down and her body goes into shock, that means she's doing a lot of freaking drugs. And, and, to manage, and right? in one day, so though. That, right. So now this one day, she decides to stop. For you? So Why like there was so so, so basically yeah so what you know. that don't make no so what you telling me you telling me she she decided to three years later come back and, and kick it with you in Fort Worth or something right. and then on this day oh I'm not gonna do no drugs right you would do if and, you're a person that's using and you're you see you got work and I'm saying it like that because I'm not just talking about people that's using it if you're talking about somebody's body going into a whole different phase mm -hmm. of recovering and trying to kick out a drug. That's, that means that there's a whole lot within your system. And, and so she wouldn't be around this you. day that you run into somebody you hadn't seen in the past three years, you're generally what? If it's a good situation, happy, you're excited, you're probably going to use more than you're going to say, I'm not going to use today. Exactly, because you're kicking it with somebody who used to be in a relationship. Right, right. I'm pretty sure three Nobody years. knows that when they're last Bro, time. I'm pretty sure three years ago they were using together. together. Exactly. When, when you look at his pictures from three years ago, Johnny D was a lot skinnier back then. He looked like he was a user. The nigga looked like he looked at like uh Solo Lucci back then. Probably. He did. Probably. He, he was as skinny as and Solo you know, Lucci. I think a person, when you're in a relationship with a person, I mean, it, it is very hard. Those people tend to do things together. That's just how it happens. Yeah. Now, you, I'm not saying that he could have been as much as she is or vice versa, whatever the case may be. But they but do it together. But you tend to do something together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just, okay, you know it's there. You know what I'm saying? You know that's what the person's habit is. For all you know, he, he could have been selling it. Selling like, it, niggas selling. making money. He around it. My nigga, he's also a producer. He's not only a manager, he's a producer. I've known and a lot of those. So he's... When your man sells and yeah, he yeah. So he, he, for all you know, she got access. He yeah, a Fort Worth stop six nigga. You see what I'm saying? So he, for all you know, he pitching it. He getting rid of it, doing what he's doing. But at the same time, he getting high off his same supply. But one thing I know is he's a businessman. He ain't no dummy. Right. So when he had enchanting on his team, when, when she ended up getting signed with, with Gucci Man, she ended up basically leaving him. That don't mean he didn't have his business right, paperwork right where they had to pay him. I'm pretty sure they had to come out of pocket. Right. And that don't mean he wasn't sitting back saying to himself, well, bitch, I still got this insurance policy. You don't end up dead. Come on, everybody. Don't get knocked off. And I know you do mad coke. I know you out there. Just know well, I got this policy. Well, y'all not married. You know what I'm saying? Nope. You got a policy on her. Why? Because she's doing yep. business she, with she you, right? She was doing business with right. you. Right. So other than that, what do you... What are you, you waiting right? for? What you wait for? Something to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Because usually, we and we see it, we pay more attention to it when we start seeing artists that start speaking out vocally more about politics, the world, or things like that. Or when you have rappers that are reckless in the street and they're gang violent. You know what I'm saying? These, the business loves to put insurance policies on you people. They have to. They, but no, I'm saying you're gonna, it's going to happen regardless. I know, but, but it's, when they you have, have like even more of an incentive, it's like a but, quick but this what people, But people don't, what people fail to re realize is called key insurance. They have I to. Do, I, I yeah. 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 Once you, once you, once you become a, an, employee. A, an employee of somebody's business, it don't matter if that's a manager, it don't matter if it's a record label, it don't matter if it's working at Winco or Walmart, the company will put company insurance on you. Right. They'll every corporation. Every corporation that files off their taxes and wants to be paid and compensated for the amount of employees. Because remember, the more employees you have, the bigger and bigger these corporations get. You go from mom and pop to Walmart-sized corporates that are all, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a Walmart, you definitely have a, a Key policy. Insurance. A lot of them do. Right, right, right. Just be working for you work mom's diner, you probably, you're not going to probably. No, they're work. probably, no, they are. Uh, yeah, well, okay, that's fair too, because they're going to make sure that they They're going to make sure they're covered. As they're a covered business, the as a sure. business, that's their job to make sure that when you become an employee of their business, is to cover yeah. them. Because if something happens to you and you die, guess what? I lose <laughs> out at my job because I, now I got to replace somebody to work for me. And that's why and, they and give and that's why they give them, they, that's why they give, the, that's why they, every company always say, Oh, we're willing to give ten thousand dollars to yeah. your to your uh. They to, give you their own their own policy. Their own amount right. money to to your death. Why? Because they already have a policy yeah. cashed out and on you. Be like, oh, thank you. You be thinking they giving <laughs> you they giving you something for free? Yeah. No, they already cashed out on you for hundred grand. Right. So they breaking you off. So they breaking you off with a little something.
But really, they should they don't owe you a whole lot because nigga, you don't even know the whole time you was working for Rosa Cafe. Rosa Cafe had their life insurance policy on you. You die, Rosa Cafe get paid. You know how many wow. companies got paid off the death of their employees? They've been, it's been happening forever. It's forever because that's called business. And the thing about it is that you can't fault anybody when you don't know this type of stuff. Yeah, anymore. when you don't know, you because get it doesn't pay to be ignorant. You lose so much when you don't know or you don't expose yourself to these things. Like when you say, hey, I want to be a rapper, then the first thing you really need to start learning is business. And I know it's hard. It's not the same thing that people are thinking when they got a pen and a paper. But if you're trying to transition from the street to the boardroom, and make some real money, then you're going to have to learn how to protect yourself. And protecting yourself is not by carrying a gun or a knife anymore. It's by learning how to read properly mm -hmm. before you sign your name, getting the appropriate people to be behind you. That's business, and that's how you protect yourself. And those people that are still in the industry surviving, they learn that shit. <laughs> they, they, they made it out of the trenches. You get what I'm saying? Because you have elders who are still running yeah, but they know. and they don't went through a whole lot of stuff. So you newbies ain't even getting to crap past the threshold because y'all keep you, you don't even you don't even realize when it's time to bow out. Like Little Wayne said, why you think niggas ain't heard from Little Wayne in so long? Because Little Wayne said out his own mouth when they tried to take me out on that tour bus in Atlanta, he knew right then and there. It was time to get out the business because now they ready to cash out on you. They ready to cash out, and you gotta keep that. It's just like you gotta know when they ready to cash out. And, and and like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he took the opportunity and said, "Yo, now I got her. Now I can do what I want to her because she got dropped from ten seventeen. She's now she coming back want to chill with me. Well, guess what? Now it's time to give her this hot pack." Why? Because if she OD, she slip off, I'm about to get paid. Right. And people know she do it anyway. So it's not going to be so far fetched. Now, she was never a user of anything, never touched any type of drugs that would be different. Kind of. Bro, story, he right? made a. But you know that if I give this, this is going to get used, right? So it's real easy to No, say, well, she won't use it. Right. It's real easy to be like that was a habit. In, and, and it's real easy to throw more fentanyl in it than, than cocaine. Now, now she don't even realize that she she thinks she hitting pure she hitting the cocaine and it's mixed with a whole bunch of fentanyl in that bitch. Come on, it's Fort Worth, my nigga. But it's not no. Ain't, I don't believe anything being a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that all of a sudden, my nigga, she come back and chill with this nigga for the first time in three years, and now she laying in the hospital dead on life support. And this nigga in the hospital. First of all, she didn't even fuck with you no more. Why are you in a hospital with her? She didn't fuck with you. That's like some shit. Why would you break up with somebody three years ago? She got she got a new nigga. You told you in the hospital crying. Oh, I love you. I mean, she got niggas wasn't even together. That's why I be saying watch niggas motives. Because if you didn't love me when I was alive, nigga, don't be putting all these posts up talking about I love you, gangster cat. Nigga, you ain't love me when I was a motherfucking alive. Don't love me now. So I just, I'm just peeping shit that's what's going on. And I ain't no dummy. So if you start seeing Johnny D broke ass around Fort Worth with new clothes, new chains, new cars, that nigga got paid out for his off of her motherfucking death. Point blank, point simple. Ain't no and buts about it. That nigga about to get paid off of enchanting death. That's why that crying video, that shit was whack as hell, man. Good morning, Trina. Good morning, Trina. You already know what time it is. That, that that crying video was wacky shit. Don't believe that shit. That, that was the fakest video I seen in my motherfucking life. And, and then now look, even, even motherfucking niggas on Instagram is like, bro, you a fucking liar. Niggas on Instagram don't even believe this nigga. Niggas like, bro, you can't make me believe that she just died after seeing you this one weekend. Let's see this shit, y'all. Cause it's always after a nigga die, motherfuckers wanna uh start posting shit. It's always at them motherfucker die. They want to start posting shit, man. If you ain't if you ain't love me in the when you went before I was dead, man. Don't love me now, nigga. I don't play that type shit. 
Nigga, if you wasn't sending me motherfucking messages telling me you love me, nigga, don't don't tell me you love me now, nigga. But you gotta do, you gotta start doing that when it's hot right now. Everybody's gonna be running her name, talking about this. So what usually happens? You get to talk, tell a little bit of personal stories, run people to her music. Try yeah, to- but 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 don't. But if you you was dating me or something, and we stopped dating. And you wasn't sending me text messages telling me you miss me, you love me, how you doing today? And we had no relationship in three years. Nigga, don't get on the internet and start posting pictures of me and videos of me when we was together. That was the same thing. I hate Asian when people do that. You would have thought Asian doll and oh boy was fucking yeah, married. Yeah, you would have thought Asian doll. They had broke up. He started. He was telling the world he hated her. Yeah, you would. You would think because, Asian doll and, and King Ball was together. And she came back after his death, and you would think that they had such the best relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I hate that. That's so, what I don't like. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like about death. A motherfucker die and the niggas will start acting like, oh, I love you. Oh, my God. I can't believe you gone. I would have did anything for you. Bitch, you wasn't going to do anything for me or, I, or you would have still been, been with me before my, before I died. Don't wait until I, I, I'm, I'm here to tell me what you the motherfucking did, nigga, because you wasn't doing nothing. That's why I said, Pat Knight, for real, that shit facts. That shit real facts. But I guarantee you, my nigga, if you think for one minute a nigga ain't come off come up off of her death, you crazy, nigga. He probably gonna come up off the death more than the family. For all you know, the family probably don't even got a life insurance policy. It be a nigga who claim he fuck with you that got a life insurance policy and, and the family don't even got one on you, my nigga. I swear to God. So peep game. Let's peep this shit. Look, look, look. Look what he say, my nigga. This is why I don't trust the nigga. This is what Johnny D say in the chat. This is why niggas don't trust him. Look what he said this shit six hours ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Six hours he said this shit, y'all. Look what Johnny D say six hours in his post. This is what he said, y'all. He said, I don't care how long I went without seeing her. Because when we first seen each other again months ago, we never stopped seeing each other. You see what I mean, my nigga? So she just linked back up with you months ago. And now she dead. Was you getting high with this girl months ago? So uh, Because you can't make me believe that you was trying to get her off the drugs. So now you want the world to believe that you was trying to get her off the drugs. And she died because she went through withdrawal. Nah, nigga. She died because you niggas was feeding her drugs. Y'all was fucking that little girl. Y'all was abusing that little girl. And y'all was using her up till she couldn't be used no more. Y'all was using her till she couldn't be used no more. Feeding her drugs. And y'all helped supply her death. Come on, man. You niggas is you niggas is grimy. I don't understand how you niggas could even feed the woman you love drugs. That's what be killing me. How could you feed a woman you claim you love drugs? Like you want to see your girl doped up, my nigga? Like that's the type of shit you niggas be on? Y'all like seeing your girl doped up? I don't even like seeing my girl drunk. I don't even want to see my girl drunk, my nigga. So you telling me you like y'all like seeing your girls doped up and on that shit. Like, come on, B. So this nigga, people telling the nigga in his comments, like, yo, my dude, how you how you really acting like you sad and you just link back up with her? So he letting the world know these last few couple months, my nigga, he been the one rocking with her. I've been in her life. So was you the one feeding her the drugs? Look, look, somebody in the comments said, was, was you with her when the incident happened? It's just a question because it's a YouTube video up already. You see what I'm saying? Niggas is already saying he was with her. And I believe he was with her. Hold on, let me see the replies. Was you with her, was you with her when it happened? Let me see if he reply. He ain't going to reply to that. Nah, he ain't going to reply was he with her 
when it happened, man. So you got to pay attention to these niggas. And, and, and the chain was a very nice looking young lady, my nigga. But pay attention. She looked like she been dealing with addiction for a long time. Why? Because these niggas was feeding her drugs, my nigga. They was feeding her. At, at an early age, my nigga, she was being used and abused. At an early age, they was using this girl up. So let's be honest. You see what I'm saying? And I'm down for you always. Katie, do you love me? Me. Because I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always. Katie, do you love me? Me. Because I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always. You see what I'm saying? Hold up. Look at these comments, man. Niggas is like, bro. Hold up. It's one of these comments that I saw on here. Torch my ass. Ain't nobody give a fuck about no torch. Niggas trying to figure out how how she how she die in your presence. That's what niggas want to know, man. It's your job to protect her. How she die in your presence? How she die in your pre presence, my nigga? You supposed to be protecting her. She wasn't even close to this nigga until she got back in his life three months ago. Y'all better pay attention. Y'all don't, y'all better pay attention. She wasn't even close to this nigga until she got back in his life three months ago after three years. After three years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, y'all, y'all don't see what's going on. Like I said, I think I'm a little bit too woke. I'm a little bit too woke because this shit is easy to read through the lines, man. She ain't see you three years. You still had the insurance policy on her. Still had the insurance policy on her. Then all of a sudden, she gone. After she get back into your life, my nigga. Make it make sense. Insurance policy ain't went nowhere. You still in her life. Three years later, she get back with you, and you hit her with a hot pack. Come on, man. I know how this shit go. He hit her with a hot pack, y'all. She got hit with a hot pack. If anybody that don't know what a hot pack is, man, go watch Bullet. Go watch Bullet, man, with Tupac Shakur. They hit a chanting with a hot pack. They knew she was going to die, man. You can look at that video when she crying, nigga. You could look at that video where he was fake crying. Man, that nigga was fake crying like a motherfucker. You think that was real tears? <laughs> if you think that was real tears, dog, you crazy. Them was not real tears. I know real tears when I see a nigga crying. And I know t fake tears when I see a nigga acting. Yeah, she overdosed. Yeah, she overdosed, man. He gave her a hot pack. She ain't seen this nigga in three years. All of a sudden, she chill with, with Johnny Dane, her ex-boyfriend, ex-manager. Start kicking it with this nigga again. And all of a sudden, she end up dead on that shit. Telling you, my nigga. He gave her a hot pack. He still had that insurance policy on her. He want to make his money. I know what's going on. I ain't no dummy. It's time to collect. What they say? What they say? When the Grim Reaper come to the collect, man, you got to give him what's his. 
Johnny D came to collect, my nigga. He came to collect what the fuck belonged to him. He said, okay, you got away from me for three years. <clears throat> I let it rock. And then now he came to collect. When, when she came back home and she started fucking with this nigga again, came to collect, my nigga. Yeah, niggas is wild, bro. Niggas will do anything for a dollar. I'm telling you. I tell niggas all the time. When money is involved, niggas will do some crazy shit. We talking 200,000, 250,000. 